Is that the one that was leaking? Yeah. Do you want to tell the camera what happened? Well, I don't know what happened. <laughs> the truck's broken. The car in the caravan went off to the get its warrant of fitness this morning. Just got a call back saying the caravan passed, but the Ute hasn't. So, <laughs> I've got to figure out why. <laughs> We've actually really been enjoying the space with the caravan not being there. Having a chat about maybe tweaking the placement of the caravan. Well, I think it was the drive shaft. Drive shaft. Drive shaft has to be tightened up and there's a, a nail in one of the wheels. So we're booked to take the ute back in next week. But for now the caravan's passed, That's a, which is kind of important to me. <laughs> uh, just needed a couple of light bulbs replaced and now we just need to put it back into place. We're gonna, yeah, change the angle a little bit I think. Yeah, I think you just go straight back from there. Back. Cool, okay. Done. <laughs> I realised this morning the caravan hadn't been moved for six months. Six months. So the caravan Warren Fitness was way overdue. I need to do the Reggio too. And, and that's like stage one of getting on the road again. Funnily enough, a few months ago I thought we'd be caravanning by now, but I don't know, things are a bit up in the air with Hayden's work and lockdowns, so we'll just take it easy, see what happens. Yeah, no stress. My seedlings desperately need to be planted now. They've probably been in their pots too long. <laughs> Hayden's gone off to town with Reese, so I have my moment to plant. Looks like a few plants were still trying to grow with the cardboard on top, and there's a few slugs too. I've learned a lesson there. Slugs seem to love living under the cardboard. I was planning to put cardboard around some of the fruit trees to start killing off the grass so I could, but I need to be aware now that slugs are gonna be living underneath it. I could use it as a slug trap. It's one way to accumulate the slugs all in one location, I guess. And where Vinny has been is, has actually become the perfect spot for the next veggie patch. I actually have too many vegetables. Getting used to this new layout, it uh, definitely feels more open. 
I need to get the awning back up and it'll be interesting to see how that changes the space again. It's actually been a full-on week. My brother moved in yesterday. We've actually had a few car dramas lately. Hayden was going to use the crane truck to move my brother to the land but then it broke and he went to the local mechanic. It's two week two week wait to get it in there. Uh, it's going well enough to drive to mechanics and back but not like hours down the road. <laughs> so he ended up using my ute to move which had failed its warranty because there was a nail in the tire. Luckily that all went smoothly and then my brother drove Hayden an hour down the road so he could take a bus to Wellington to pick up his car. <laughs> Logistical dramas really. Just, bleh, logistical dramas. And the first small veggie patch is done with temporary fencing to keep the rabbits out and a couple of slug traps to hopefully keep the slugs under control because there are so many slugs. It will be, I think, a mission to grow vegetables with this number of slugs in the area. <laughs> After a wet winter, a few things are getting a little bit rusty. Actually feels really good to start doing practical things like this again. It feels forever since I've been able to do things like this. And Reese's first solids. Oh, this time it's got something on it. Ooh. Oh, is that nice? <laughs> he doesn't look ecstatic, does he? No. <laughs> He's kind of like, what the hell? <coughs> He's still kind of opening his mouth. <laughs> Hand tastier. <laughs> 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 